Alrighty guys, welcome back to a brand new video and today we are rebuilding the Dallas Mavericks in the Stephen Curry era. Not gonna lie man, as we wrap up this Stephen Curry era series, this season is just, you know, getting started man. I gotta say, these rest of the teams look, you do not interest me man. Once we do the Warriors and the Cavaliers, they'll be the final two rebuilds. Um, like, let's say, like, these teams do not interest me man, like, the teams like the Hawks are basic. The Heat don't interest me. The Jazz don't interest me. Like these teams are not really that interesting. Unless we have a couple left, the Nuggets are the team probably gonna do next. Um, but yeah, these teams are starting to get pretty mid, man. But the Mavericks have, you know, like I said all, all you need to do with these rest of the team is just rebuild them, um, get young pieces. So here are some Barnes, Dirt Nowitzki, um, Dirt Nowitzki, Nerlens Noel, Deron Williams, J.J. Barea, Seth Curry. Um, Wesley Matthews, Dwight Powell, Bogut, Devin Harris, DFS. So, yeah, I really don't want to do this one because really this team is nothing interesting about them. But obviously, we got to do all, you know, all these teams. So, Deron Williams, Wesley Matthews, Harrison Barnes, Dirk Nowinski, Nose Noel, JJ Berea, Seth Curry, Dwight Powell, Andrew Bogut, and then Devin Harris. That is your rotation. I do look, you want to give DFS a minute. So, do we play him over Devin Harris? I think we do. So, Dorian Finney Smith. We'll play. Is this Ricky DFS? This is Ricky DFS undrafted. So, yeah, we'll see how he performs. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I think Curry wins the MVP, Joel Embiid, Rookie of the Year. But we ended up obviously not making the playoffs. This team is going to be pretty bad. But I do want to probably hit on this draft pick. We're going to uh, we're gonna be 11. So, Sally, the pick is going to be that good. I don't care, man. We're going to have to trade up and get Donald Mitchell on one of these, man. Or Jason Tatum. I haven't drafted them yet, which is insane. Or I haven't drafted, you know, them not often. Probably one time. That's probably it. But, bro, if we can't get a high pick, then I don't know what we're going to do. Do we even have a pick? Now that I think about it, since our pick goes to Dallas, that just might not be true. I'm not going to lie. So, yeah, there's no way the Sixers have three lottery picks. So, I'm definitely going to do my research on that pick for sure. Yeah, okay, I guess we guess we have it, actually, so that's good. The Sixers don't have it. So, we have 11, which is just so freaking annoying. We know who's going to be there, the same exact players. I do not want to take De'Aaron Fox and Lonzo Ball again. I'm trading up to, like, probably, I, I want to trade up really bad. I low-key do want to trade up. So, that's probably what we're going to do. Two best players in this draft are Tatum and Mitchell. If we can't get them, then honestly, we're cooked, so... I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't mind trading up to like maybe one, two, or three. So who has one, two, or three? So we're gonna talk to these Lakers and Blazers to see what they're thinking about trading back in the draft. But let's talk to my Los Angeles Lakers, my favorite team, to see if they be want to trade back with me. I don't know because their future is not that great. But you know, since they already have a lot of young guys, and you know, who knows? Maybe they don't want to pass up on Tatum. I could give them a really solid player, so, I mean, I, I kind of lie. We don't really have solid players. Maybe we could give them Dwight Powell. We're not going to need him. So, let's say we give them pick 11 and Dwight Powell. I'm going to trade a future pick as well. I, we could trade our 2018. That is just a little too risky. Our 2019, we don't have a 2018 pick. I'll trade this 2020 first round pick. How about that? And then, let's say we trade Devin Harris if we need to. I'm going to offer this as they just decline. So we will trade Devin Harris now. You know, hopefully. I don't know if he'll even get it done. But, but yeah, well, I guess we could trade J.J. Barea and Devin Harris in the trade. I really don't want these guys on my team. So let's say we opt into that and we talk to the Lakers again. Let's say, let's see what they're, if they're even, you know, discussing trade number two. They're not. So they, they don't have any interest in trade number two. It's going to be really hard to budge them. But if we can't get two, we can just immediately go to three. No worries, man. So, we're going to throw, we could trade Seth Curry. We have a lot of options we could throw. I'm going to throw Dwight Powell, pick 11. Bro, man, if we could keep on that pick, it's probably, probably not be able to, though. Um, What else was going to go on there? JJ Barea, Devin Harris, then a guy that's making a lot of money. We don't know, I guess Noah's making a lot of money. So I guess we'll just offer this in a future first round pick and see what they say as they still de decline it. Um, throw a second. They were not getting so it's up to the Bladers about pick three. We can offer the same thing. I guess they can't even take on all these um, salaries. Which is annoying. They can't take on any money, which sucks. So maybe it might have to be a picks trade unless they can. Well, these guys are all these guys are team options. So 
Hey, we might be cooked unless one of these guys fall to me. So who has four? That's the thing. So four um, is going to be the Orlando Magic. So God, but I think they have some money, right? Yeah, they do. They do. Okay. So maybe we trade well, like a Wesley Matthews instead. I really think we could. He's getting older. So let's go back to later. I'm not going to lie. Let's, let's go back. Let's throw, and let's throw something at them that can be more or less they can accept. So I will throw... Wesley Matthews, we can move him to small forward as well if we need to. So, yeah, long start to this, but it's worth it. Barea would also say the same. We're not going to move him nowhere. Evan Harris would also you know, go up and overall. I'll, I'll take that. And then, yeah, I mean, I think we can get this done. We probably could, actually. So, Lakers, what do you want to give me for number two overall pick? I would love to reset this man with Jason Tatum. If not, we'll go to four. But Wesley Matthews will be in this trade. Devin Harris will be in this trade. DJ Barre will be in this trade. Uh, and then, can I still give you the White Powell? I feel like trading all this is worth it. And a pick 11 for the third overall pick, as they will still decline. Although, if future 2020 pick in there, that'll get it done. Pick two. We gave up last. We gave up a buttload of everything. But those guys don't even become nothing. So I'll find with it. Rick Carlos or Hicker. So I have the second overall pick in the draft now. Number one is going to be Jane Tatum, which does sting. But I'm gonna take Donovan Mitchell. We we can't really, you know, can't go wrong with Donovan Mitchell, right? Where is he? Why is he all the way down here? I don't know. I'm taking him. Donovan Mitchell. Welcome to Dallas, my friend. I would have loved to have Tatum, but I'm fine with that. And then um Chris Boucher. So we just got the second best player in the draft, and no one might not show, but trust me, TJ Leaf is not better than Donovan Mitchell, man. I'll take it. DFS will accept qualifying offers. We have money in free agency. Dude, we can probably sign somebody. So, all right, we don't have a point guard. We have Seth Curry and Donovan Mitchell. That'll be our shooting guard rotation. Small four Asian be here, part of DFS. Dirk is, I believe, he'll retire next year, so I'm hoping that we can retire next year and then. So I'm fine with uh, Nerds Noel being, so we really need a point guard. So let's see what point guard. I don't think Seth, Seth and Curry would be insane, but but I'm not going to go that, that far with things. So I'm signing like a Rajon Rondo for like a year or two. It's not the worst thing in the world. So I'm going to sign Rajon Rondo. And then if we can get an auto porter just for extra small forward depth, now i got to say that would be huge to get auto porter right now. So I'm going to see if I get auto porter junior. Then a big, if we maybe get, I don't know, um, we get Zaza out of control, I don't know. So let's see if we can get all three of these guys to sign as they do. That's huge, man. That is absolutely huge, 100%. So Rondo, we have Seth Curry, Mitchell, Otto Porter. Um, here's some more. I'm trying to be a little bit good. We don't even have a pick next year, which will suck. But how do we, how do we? I no, we sh I'm pretty sure we did because look at yeah, look at Dodgers in the next draft. Either I'm just completely losing my mind or freaking we definitely had a twenty eighteen pick. I'm gonna look into that like I said, but probably gonna sign a forward or a point guard, so I'm coming to Williams for like two years, we can sign him, don't even care. Alright. We we definitely had a pick. There's no way. I don't I just don't believe we did. Because we drafted Luka Doncic, so hundred percent had a pick. Gonna look into that, gonna download this. 2018 draft class. So let's see. Where is the 20? If I scroll down, hopefully it's here. Yes, it is right there. All right, perfect. So 2018 draft class. Your rotations: John Rondo, Donovan Mitchell, Otto Porter, Dirk, Nolan Noel, Harrison Barnes, Seth Curry, the Lapachula, Mark Carter, and the Dorian Finney Smith. All right. What is his shots in see, by the way? Donovan Mitchell signed into the 60. That's absolutely insane, man. I'm pushing that up to 88 off the batch. 89, actually. So we'll leave it like that. Then hopefully he can. You know, do something with this franchise. You know, help it out a bit. Barnes coming off the bench. I don't really agree with, but it's fine. We'll just leave it like that. See you guys at the end of the season. LeBron James wins the MVP. Donovan Mitchell is your rookie of the year. He averaged about 17.5 points per game off the bat, which is great. 45, by the way. Wait, no, he does win number 45. What am I talking about? Uh, Lonzo Ball, six men, but... Yeah, Austin Crawford, most improved players. Wow, you can't tell me it's most improved player numbers. Like, give at this point, give most improved to freaking Jimmy Butler. I mean, I don't need less points. Give most improved to freaking, okay, give most improved to uh, Bradley Beal. He put up more better numbers than last year. But anyway, we somehow made the playoffs as the third seed. I'm not asking questions, man. This team is terrible. We are best porter, best players, literally auto porter. Here are some bars, actually. So. 17, we had 17 from Barnes. I realize we actually do have our pick. It's not going to be good. So we're the third seed. 
But, you know, it's just whatever. We'll, we'll definitely get a star next to Don Mitchell in the future. All right. Got Utah. See if it could beat the Utah Jazz. Rudy Gobert led team. We're going to lose some if I'm going to actually choke that lead, actually, with the Raptors going to win it all. So, yeah, I don't know if that pick is going to be in the top, but all I know is that we have it. So, we have pick 25, no matter what. So take it back. Maybe we can add a better head coach. Steve Curry, want to be the head coach of this team, offer you a lot. And then, hopefully, we can just get him gambling on him. This is the greatest in the world. Tyron Lou would be a steal to have right now. So, let's see. We can get either one of those. We are... Okay, we're going to get Tyron which is great. So, Ty Lou, take it, man. Tyron Lou, welcome to the Mavericks. Be our new head coach over Rick Carloff. But that's an upgrade. So, I pick 25. Let's hop into it with him. I mean, what if we can get somebody good? There's nobody good here. Oh, man. I guess we can take D'Anthony Mel, the only guy that's obviously a really good rotational piece in the future. And then, Watanabe, he kind of retired. But I'll take you. All right. Um... Rondo, we're going to decline, and then free agency. Well, we have money. We have another money. We have a lot of money. Okay. But I think, definitely think we may be, you know, I think signing Paul George will come to be beneficial. I, I, you know, or LeBron, like, can we get one of these guys? I'm offering money to Paul George. I don't care. Paul George, I'll get you for the future. It sounds too good. He has no offers. We're going to get Paul George. If we want to get a center like the Marcus Cousins. Did Dirk Nowinski retire? He did. But I think Noah Noel is a fun starting center. He averaged 9 and 11. So, I'm going to get a power forward. Though. That's the thing. That's the hard thing. Um, no, Dirk is a free. I don't, think I'll bring, I don't think I'll be bringing him back, though, since it's old he is. Actually, but I'm going to see if I can get Paul George, man. I see if we get Paul George, Gary Harris, and Dirk Nowinski here. Dirk Nowinski and those that are going to sign. So, I got Dirk back because it's Dirk. We can't let Dirk go. So, yeah. I got to blame D'Anthony Mellon. Mitchell, Gary Harris, PG, and Otto Porter. We have Harrison Barnes, Dirk, and we have Noel. We need a backup center. That's going to be crucial for what we need. Um, I don't even know. We'll sign freaking George Brooks. I don't know, though. George Brooks. I sign a G League. I don't care. But we need a point guard more than anything. So we might actually end up starting now Mitchell at point guard. Even we have one, we might do that. We're going to do that. Let's start Mitchell at point guard, and then, you know, hope we can go from there. Your rotation heading into this season. For some reason, Donovan Mitchell is not living without point guard. I literally thought I'd move him there. But he'll play point guard for this year. Um, secondary position, if we can get to that, of course, it's not going to have to go back out. Um, secondary position, move that to shooting guard. And then your rotation into this season is Donovan Mitchell, Gary Harris, Paul George, Harrison Barnes, and Owens Noel, Otto Porter, George Brooks, Dirt Nowinski. Uh, Nowinski is going to retire this year, so we'll let him retire, obviously. Uh, Dorian Finney Smith. And then last, I do want to upgrade the bench in the offseason, but I think with this team, we should be honestly really good. I will now see you guys at the end of the season. We are the 2C at the end of the season. So player stats are about 19 from Donovan Mitchell, 19 from Paul George. Donovan Mitchell need less average, less points, or more points. Uh, more. All right. Paul George, 19, 16 from Barnes, 50 from all reporters. We do. I don't know if we need like a probably a point guard. I don't think Don Mitchell's really a point guard. We could probably play only average three assists. Gary Harris, I don't think he has. So definitely need a point guard and then a better power. There's a lot of more issues we need to do with this team, but we got Utah in round one. Derek White, Alec Brooks, bro. We should not lose to this team. I'm telling you this right now. We're not going to sweep them. Easy. Not even a shot. Now we got the Nuggets with Emmanuel Moody, Jamal Murray, Wilson Chandler, Kenneth Reed, Jokic, um, Malik Beasley, Yusuf Nurkic. Troy Brown. So we're up. So we are down. No, we're up due to two. My bad. The way the Nuggets were precise. Can we go ahead and finish them off? Yes, we can. Here in the college follows the place San Antonio. They have Dante Exum. They have, oh my goodness, Kawhi and Cousins is crazy. Prime Kawhi and Prime Boogie is crazy on the Spurs. All right. This will be a very fun matchup. Um, so I'm ready. They are benching Nelson in a while. He is angry for whatever reason. No clue why. We're starting George Brooks. Instead of him, like I said, George Brooks is not real at all. Um, so we're probably gonna end up trading him. But I guess since he's a G leaguer, I don't know. I'll look him up. Game one, they're gonna take game two, even it up. Game three, they're up two to one. They're up three to one, and we're gonna go. Hopefully, if we're the game seven here, I'm hoping we can. There's so much more things I would love to improve with this team. We're not even done yet at all. We're not close to being done. We have the lead right now in Dallas. As it's looking like we're gonna get it done. Wendy from Auto Porter. Now we got a game seven in San Antonio. Bro, if we could pull this off and go to the finals after just one season of getting Paul George, that would be crazy. 
But it is looking like we might actually do it. It's a close game, 45 seconds left. Um, 105 to 106. Um, we're gonna hop in and watch the end of this. Is why not, right? I mean, why not? Not playing it awful at this game. So our reporter is at the free throw line. I don't know how much he's, how many free throws he's taking. Looks like it's only going to be okay. It's gonna be two. So we're gonna have the lead here if our reporter hits the second one as well. So we are leading. Let's go 107 to 106. Um, bro, Cousins and Kawhi is just so insane at me, but. Dante Exum has the ball. Um, Exum will give it to Kawhi. Guarded by all reporters. Do your best, man. Dante Exum over to Kawhi. Kawhi will drive inside. Kawhi will give it to LaMarcus Aldridge. LaMarcus Aldridge will take the layup. Aldridge will miss. He'll get the offensive rebound. Dang, we need to get better rebounders, man. Oh, okay. That's why I know Noel should have been in the game, man. He's he's a great rebounder here in 2K. That sucks. That just sucks really badly. But couldn't get the rebound. We had this stop. We just couldn't get the rebound. Now we're down by a point here. I hate one-point games. I just don't like one-point games. Alvin Mitchell has the ball. Mitchell will um, kind of size up. Dante is going to give it to George Brooks. Uh, George Brooks is passive, bro. We do not want you taking the last shot. I literally don't even know who you are. George Brooks will take it. You're traded next season, pal. Wow, okay. So just like that, I don't understand what that play was. I don't know why we we literally have Paul George and Dan, Don Mitchell. We let George Brooks take the last shot, which is just so... Not, I don't know. Hopefully, Danny Green can miss these two. It is still a one possession game. That's why it's not the end of the world. He's going to hit the first, and then this Danny Green, I'm guessing, he's going to hit the second one. He's a pretty good free throw shooter. And uh, he will hit the second one. So now we have to hit a three. Don't let George Brooks shoot it, man. I don't know what that was anyway. Donovan Mitchell has it. He'll give it to Barnes. Barnes is a really good shooter. Have him should be. Shoots at mid range. Why? I have no clue what that was, bro. Whatever, I did, we, we lost, man. There's no point in watching the rest of this, man. We, we lost just like that. We lost the finals of the game. So, uh, see, so. see if I can get Clint Capella here from the Dallas or the Houston Rockets. My, I'm offering George Brooks, Caleb Martin, and a second. I doubt this gets me him. But we'll throw, like, I don't know, Utah Watanabe as well. As you're running it in, so Clint Capella is the new backup center. I love that. Next year, I will prioritize getting a backup or a point guard. So we need some guard depth, as I just noticed that. And yeah, so we need a point guard or a shooting guard. So Corey Joseph seems like the perfect guy to get off the bench. I'm going to offer him a contract to even get Corey Joseph. And I think he'll sign as he does. So Corey Joseph will get him. And then we can sign either a power forward or a shooting guard here. So power forward's not really much there. I guess we'll sign Danny Green. Remember, he hit those clutch shots, free throws last year. We can sign him, Garrett Temple. Joe Harris being 27. I don't know if we go for him. He's a really good shooter off the bench. But I'm just going to go for the veteran, Danny Green. Why not bring him in at this point? Do we have money for Brogdon? How far are we off? 60. Yeah, we're not going to get Brogdon. All right, well, how much money do we have left? One million. I would love this side of year. But we'll go ahead and play a progression. So, a progression. Uh, PG, Donovan Mitchell is up six overall. Barnes, I guess he'll stay as power forward. I guess he's actually really solid at power forward. It being 6 a.m., fine with that. We have rebounding as well. I think Barnes could rebound a bit as well as PG. Yeah, we're good on that. Um, Harris is up. Noel is up. Joseph, we have DFS. He'll play power forward. Nancy Mel and Danny Green's going down. So, I guess mainly we need is probably a backup shooting guard. I guess DFS. So, yeah, still some holes in this team. We still need a little bit more guard depth. But once we figure that out, we will be good. Trust me. The rotation heading into the season is Mitchell, Harris, Paul George, Jarrison Barnes, Snorris Noel, Otto Porter, Clint Capella, Corey Joseph, Dorian Finney-Smith, and that'll be your nine-man rotation. Uncle Flea found this rotation, and honestly looks really good. And we could run 10-man and get Melton some minutes, but I feel like he'll develop enough to probably get minutes next year or something. But I like this. I really do. I think we can probably be really good again like we were all these other years. So I'll see you at the end of the season again. Bro, like, we were really good this year. You might even see it. Yeah, Tyler Lue coach the year, 69-13. and 13. It's absolutely insane. Uh, no, I didn't expect us to be this good, but we definitely improved. I kind of did. Uh, we're the one seed in the West. Got trouble looking for us. Hey, we're the one seed. We had 22 for Mitchell, 21 for Paul George, 18 from Harrison Barnes, 13 and a half from Gary Harris, 13 from Aldo Porter. We had 11 and 10 and a block bringing from Capella off the bench. We had 8, 11, and a block, uh, .5 blocks per game. From um oh, 0 0.5, I'm not 1.5 blasting game from Noel. Great center depth, man. 
We had six from Corey Joseph at four and a half in DFS. The team is putting together really. We might, might not even have to trade for the better point guard because this Mitchell Gary Harris thing might honestly be working. So we have the Jazz in round one with Derek White, Brooke Mobley, Gordon Hayward. Dude, I'm telling you, bro, if we lose this team, I actually might rage quit. All right, we won. Now we got Denver. Like I said, to compare to our team, I think this is an easy win. Again, as we're going to beat the Miss Six, kind of had trouble. We got San Antonio with Dante Exum, DeJounte Murray. So we lost to this team last year, obviously. Hoping we can get our revenge here. I don't know. Game one, we're going to take. Game two, we're going to take. Game three, we're going to take. Why couldn't we do this last year? Did Capella really change everything? Rebounding is really a really important stat in 2K, so I'm not really surprised. Wow. Now we got New York in the finals. Isaiah Thomas, Derrick Rose, Kevin Porter Jr. Really a 72 overall small forward starting. Porzingis, Justin Patton, uh, William Gomez, Alex Lynn, Kelly Linick, Joe Kim Noah, Jalen Noel. Bro, I'm not going to lie. You might get a championship without Luka Doncic. Game one, going to take. Game two, going to take. Game three. Game four. Oh, no, we're going to, oh, okay, so the Knicks are going to force the game five, but, man, I'm not worried. I think we got this in the bag. Even if the Knicks win this game five, I think we have it in the bag. As the Knicks are going to win the game five, okay, uh, we actually might choke this. I'm not going to lie. We, we better not choke this out to go to a game seven. I hope the game seven isn't close as well because we wouldn't be able to have us lose like that. But it looks like we're going to get it done, though, as we do. 112 to 109, 29 for Paul George, 20 for Mitchell. 17 and that 15 from Otto Porter Jr. as we get it done and the Mitchells are finally through the piece. So hope you guys enjoyed this one. Really fun one in the least. Um see what happens and get a chance to draft Donovan Mitchell. He ends up being really good. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um I look you wanted to do a lot more in this one. I didn't think this team was complete. I thought there was a, many more holes we had to fill, but guess not. I still want to get a point guard, but I guess I didn't have to fill that. So hope you guys enjoyed. Um see you guys next time. Have a great day. See you guys next time. Peace.